Hello and welcome to Someka SIPOC Diagram. This tool helps you to create a process map of your organization and gives you an overview of your business. This tool has seven sections in total. The menu section, input and supplier, output and customer, target and actuals, action list, SIPOC diagram, and the dashboard. Let's start with the menu first. This is where you can write down each step of your process. And the menu section also includes the settings. You can add responsible person and change the action status settings. So I'm going to add a new process for demonstration purposes. And a new responsible person. Once you're done with this step and write down all the process flow, you can continue with the input and supplier. In this section, you can set the relation between input and process and supplier and input. First, you need to enter all your inputs on the left side, then choose each process the inputs are used in. And you can check the process flow table located on the upper part. Then, write down your suppliers and choose the inputs provided by each supplier from the drop-down list. Now we can continue with output and customer section. This section is similar to the previous section and there are two parts of this, the output list and the customer list. First, write down the outputs, then choose the process provided by each output. Any process flow you add will be appear as an option on the drop-down list. Then, fill out the customer list. Write down your customers, then choose the output received by each customer. Let's continue with another input field, target and actuals. This section lets you compare your target values and actual results. First, choose the category from the drop-down list. Then choose the target from the drop-down list here. Then write down the target name you want to compare. And you can input your target values for each month into target section. Then the actual values on the actualization part. After you input all your data, you can continue with the action list. Action list lets you define actions to reach your targets. Choose the target name first, and the category and the item name will appear accordingly. Write down the action, assign a responsible person for this, and set up a due date. Then you can set the progress and its status. Now we can check the output field starting with SIPOC. So this is where you can actually see the SIPOC diagram itself, and it's automatically created according to your inputs. You can see the relation of each element here. And lastly, let's check the dashboard section. In this section, you can see the summary of your actions with graphs and charts, and the comparison between actual and target values. And you can filter your data from the drop-down buttons above. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check our other templates at someka.net.